made an escape. She's absolutely awful. Oh, look at her. Oh, she knows, too. If you said, what is she? Oh, she bum rushed me. She knew I had my guard down. Uh, anyway, Christopher, if you're there, this is my idea. I do think, I don't know what's going on with the dog. I just saw the one video where he kept knocking the thing down. My theory on that would be, I do think you need to use a platform. If you said under what pretext, a launch pad. Because if the dog had to do the jump from a stationary position, that would allow you to jockey the stationary position around much better than it would if you didn't have one. And you could just make, I do think that there is, there should be a foldable climb. Yeah, yeah, that you can take out with you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. Um, some, you know, Oh, Bowdy's mom's going to be tuning in. i got to go to Diamond Bar right after this and do Bowdy, and then i get got to give Bowdy a bath. But what I've done is fixed my jump so it doesn't fall off. But I think there's two reasons the platform would help. It would circumvent, if you said, what, how could you correct the dog for doing it? You could try to put it in its past. You could make it where it jumped it ever how many times, and it never knocked it down. I mean, that would be one way. And just make something different by adding the platform. I'm going to lower it a little bit. He's not really trained to jump. He's very athletic. All right. I was going to say I was going to page him, but I oh, am awful. Oh, am training ruiner. Oh, don't think she'll jump it. Oh, am awful. <laughs> it's unbelievable. If you said, why did she jump it? What to make a fool of me, of course. Uh, but I can understand from that perspective, it looks lower. You're just, you're changing. Oh, God, let's hope she runs off. You're changing. If that dog can do it, I'm going to measure it and see how high that is, Christopher. All right, so let me just get this one on the platform. So, uh, you know... about that for the Doberman, but the black boxer might respond. <laughs> I honestly never dreamed shoe bottom would jump. Okay, forget about him. Let's try shoe bottom again. Yo, you're awful. You need to go away. Shoe bottom's turn. Let me see if I can just get her to do it with winks and nods. Yeah, that would be cute. Let me try that one time. Yeah, he'll knock it down, though. Let me see if I can wink and nod her over here. She's trying to grab that phone thing. Oh, she's awful. Alright, just, just, uh, let me just get a little disclaimer. It may not go as well as I planned. He's 
not knocking it over. Sure, it's, you know, glued on there with cement. Oh, you know what? I could probably do it like this with this dog. Now, oh, here's all you need, Christopher. Oh, no. I got it all figured out. If you can get a drone to hover above. Oh, I bet he had some height on that one. Yeah, no, that's all you need. You need a drone to hover above. You know, just hire a team. Hire a team. And lower it. Down and wrong. <laughs> I might move to Colorado. <laughs> I might move to Florida. Oh, that would be a good. Oh, that would be a good thing. Uh, trainer swap, where you swap dogs with another trainer. So you go and live at their house for two weeks, and you do it their way. And then, just like on wife swap, on the second week you start training them your way. And if you said what happens, chaos ensues. Hi, Kayla. If you want to get that bulldog trainer girl, I mean. <laughs> You just got to get them over here. I just, as long as you guys don't have any kids, just if they'll attack another dog, I don't really trust them, you know, around kids. I just, I don't. Just because to, to them, kids can act like another dog. All right, hang on. Let me just do it one more time. Sit. Oh, he's ready to jump this time. Okay, so we, we don't have the real drone. Sit. Oh, shh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't ask any more than that from him. All right, hang on. Let me get rid of the job for now. I don't want him to do any more than that. That was so good. Okay. Sit. I mean, he's not going to be steady with this thing. Why does he shake it? It's exactly the size of a big chunky squirrel. All right, hang on, one more time. My job is to get him into that close concentric circle and spin him around, which is what I did, which is what I did. All right. If you said, what did you do? I went on instinct. His head went and I sent him. And if you said, why does he have a rough mouth? Before he had the trained retrieve, uh, he had a ball thrown for him about nine hours a day. And so some of that came from that. Angie Marie, did you even see him jump, girl? He's such an athlete. I've been taking him running. I only go every other morning now because I had to get rid of all my help, and I um, am in the development phase of the training, and he's my uh, laboratory rat. He's unbelievable, but he does have a, uh, oh, thank God you didn't see, uh, it, one week, girl, in one week, two times he came running into the live video with the squirrel in his mouth. Remember, remember he did that to you. It was absolutely awful, and he just dropped it on the driveway when he heard me scream. He, he doesn't rip them apart or anything. He just, let's just put it this way. If, if he uh, got it, let's just put it this way. If he sit, brought it to me and I went shoo, 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 and threw it, he'd go get it and bring it back. Sit. Oh, am awful. No, she's going to try to ruin it. Oh, I got to show you how he flies though now, Angie Marie. Watch. <laughs> he thought it was there. I'll tell you what that is. A blind retreat. Sit. Yay. Yay. Oh, no, he's doing great. Don't worry, girl. You're still getting him back. I say he's my Doberman sometimes, but that's just until he goes back to your house. Then he's your Doberman. He might, it might, he might have to be like 10 years old, but time flies by, girly. Yeah, remember I first met you 10 years ago with Tundra, so look how time flies by. When he's 10, he'll probably live to be at least 15. Look how healthy this dog is. All right, hang on. If I can get rid of her. Well, 
By then, he'll be fully trained. He doesn't see it. He's looking for it. Watch him. Chomp. He likes that thing because it's like a squirrel. It's just like a squirrel with a ratty tail. And if you said, how does he grab the squirrels? Exactly like that. Exactly like that. All right, let me show you how he heals now, though. He doesn't heal normal anymore. Fitty. All right, I want you to watch his feet, though. Fitty. He has the right lead. been loving your live video. I've got some ideas for you, too. This is my idea. You have the phone. You get this phone holder thing like I have, and then you just set it up sort of like the I Love Lucy show. You're kind of like making Mike food or something, and it's the opening scene, and you two are just there, your normal selves. You're not really even talking to the viewers. You don't even see them. It's sort of like the I Love Lucy show. I'll, I'll go find a few uh, old episodes and just reenact those. They, people won't remember the plots from that long ago. <laughs> Angie's like, I'll do it. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's probably your phone, girl. I'll text you later. Bye.